Hello everyone, how are you? Today I am here with a simple naan recipe that no one can resist. It's easy to make. Most of the people use yeast in this but I have used baking soda. So let's see how to make this simple and a tasty recipe named butter naan. For making butter naan, we need 1.5 glass of maida or all purpose flour. This recipe is really easy to make than we make chapati. So I have took 1.5 glasses of maida. Now let's add half teaspoon of sugar, half teaspoon of baking soda and half teaspoon of salt. Now let's mix this well using a fork. You can adjust the salt level according your wish. Now we need 1 by 4 glass of curd. Remember to use the same uh, measurement cup or the glass for taking the maida and the curd. Add 3 to 4 tablespoons of water and mix it well. Creamy texture. This is how we need our mixture. Now add little by little of the maida mix to this and make it a dough. If you prefer yeast, you can use it. Soak the yeast in lukewarm water with sugar for 1 minute and then add it to the maida mix. You have to mix the dough until the dough is very soft. So if you want to add the water, add uh, water at the end only if needed. Now we can mix this using our hand. Now our dough for naan is ready. Brush some oil on the both sides of the dough. I worked on the dough for nearly 5 minutes until it became soft. If you feel it needs more curd or water, add as needed and make the dough this soft. Let's rest this dough for 2 hours or you can leave it overnight too. Keep this covered for 2 hours in room temperature. No need to keep this in the fridge or the freezer. After 2 hours the dough is very soft. Now we shall make balls out of this according to the size of the naan you want. I got 8 of them. Take a ball and sprinkle it using some maida. There is no exact size for this naan but make sure that both of the sides are stretched as much as possible. Remember or be careful not to tear it. To make it much more soft you can just sprinkle some maida on the top. Next apply a little water on one side. This is for it to stick to the hot pan. Non-stick pans can't do this because it won't stick. I tried it many times and I failed in it. Now place the wet side on the pan and then reduce the flame. Reduce it to low flame. You can see the bubbles coming like this. Now flip the naan over. So you can see that the wet side is already nicely cooked. Just cook the bubble side for a few seconds because we just need it to be brown in color. Don't cook it for too long as it may burn the naan. So this is enough. Now let's grease some butter on the top. Just grease the butter on the bubble side of the naan. And repeat this procedure until you finish all the balls of the dough. How does it look? Doesn't it look like you get it in restaurants? So our butter naan is ready. This is how we make naan. You can also garnish it with some coriander leaves or mint leaves over it. It is very tasty and easy. All of you do try it out. Shall meet you with my next recipe. Thank you and bye.